All right, man. Um, we also uh uh read an article, excuse me, man. It's early in the morning. But yeah, I heard an article that uh Javante Davis team said Lomachenko won't last two rounds. Right. And I also was reading uh I talked about this already, I think, where uh Calvin Ford was saying that how the Lomachenko fight is bigger than the Devin Haney fight for them. And I think he listening to, you know, the false narrative that he hear about um, Lomachenko selling tickets. And that's and I already debunked all that. So, but let's talk about it. Check out the Box News playlist. Uh, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Now, I said it from the beginning. I felt that Javante Davis could beat Lomachenko. I just felt that he had the style to do so. Now, I feel like, you know, obviously there is some, uh, you know, there were some things he had to overcome fighting Lomachenko. But when you when you got his skills, when you got the skill set of Javante Davis, I think uh, anything is possible. I think most people just thought it might be the mental, the mental thing that might kind of put the pressure on him to crack a little bit and he might quit versus Lomachenko. But I think that he got a good enough corner. Um, I think he got a good enough corner where they would tell him to kind of go to the body, hit the shoulders and all that type shit to slow uh, Lomachenko down. You know, that, that was just my opinion on it. And um, I just feel like, you know, that he can beat him. You know, I know some people didn't like my opinion. And, you know, when people don't like your opinion. They want to sneak this and all that shit, you know. It's, Instead of saying let's debate or you know whatever, but you know I'm past that. But uh, yeah, I'm past that. But uh, but I felt that he 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 should win. I felt that that, that he should win that fight a long time ago. But when you don't reciprocate that energy, like you can win the fight, and you know. When you don't show that energy, bro, and you scary, then everybody going to follow the energy. We all not trying to make that fight. Oh, he's old and I'm young and I got time and all this. Dog. Nobody want to hear that, dude. If you're saying you a top fighter and you a dog, you from Baltimore and all this, people going to want you to prove it. Just screaming out where you from don't make you tough. My man's uh, Smack Water Sale Instagram, he said, only time you screaming out where you from is just to tell niggas where to send the body bag back to. <laughs> But, um, but you know, if they feel that way, they feel that we feel they can stop them in two rounds. I mean, I can see it being possible. I wouldn't bet on it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah, you can see that being possible. But they got confidence, you know. But the best confidence is if he beat Devin Haney is to make the fight. All that what we gonna do, what we could do, what we what we should do. We ain't trying to hear LTD, man. Love together in devotion. Where where do we go wrong? We don't want to hear that, bro. You talking that he all this team always talking that shit when somebody entrenched in the fight or tied up in a fight with them niggas free. When they like Denise Williams, I just wanna be free. You don't hear shit from them niggas. Them niggas quiet. They baking cinnamon rolls. They building gingerbread houses for Thanksgiving season and shit. You don't hear nothing from them. But Javante Davis coach staff believe Lomachenko bought one last two rounds. It says for essentially ha a half a decade. Let's get to the good shot of shit. I'm already got time. So in terms of the bout between the play out, Ellis paused for a second uh, while taking uh, looking to his crystal ball. Davis, widely known as one of the most devastating punchers in the world, has stopped the vast majority of his foes. That stood across from him. His propensity inflicting pain on his opponents, taking them out of their misery relatively quickly, will only exhibit, exhibit uh, according to Ellis, if Lomachenko attempts to stand and bang with him. Tank will knock him out in two, said Ellis uh, during the interview with ES News. Tank will knock him out in two, two. So it's his, uh, but it says, it owes me both Calvin Fort Kenny Ellis, assistant head uh, trainer, he's assistant. I firmly believe that Haney's youth and size and skills it would be a little bit too much for Lomachenko. So they picking Devin Haney, long story short, but we ain't here talking about that. But um but uh 
But uh, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, man, that's what he believed. But he, you got to understand the caveat that he put in there, the scenario, if he's staying in bang. And Lomachenko ain't going to do that. Lomachenko is going to try to uh, disarm. Uh, he's going to try to disarm Tank Davis. You know, he's going to try to take him deep. And with Tank not throwing a lot of punches early on, Lomachenko might be able to take him deep and then try to drown him. So it's, it's, it's an interesting fight. I still favor Tank. He on the uptrend. And I was saying this from the beginning. And Loma seemed to be on the downtrend, which I, I we see with the Devin Haney fight. You know, so. You know, so. So that's something kind of to, 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 to think about. So, uh. But but he gonna try to disarm him, and with Loma not with Tank not throwing a lot of punches, um, and looking for one shot that might uh, kind of give Loma an edge. To be honest, to kind of work a little bit and then drown him deep. So, I mean, I mean it's an interesting fight, especially if you beat Devin Haney. Obviously, um, it's a fight that we all are interested in. Um, you know, I probably pay for that one. I ain't gonna lie. That's it's a good fight if you beat Devin Haney, but. You know, we, we just, you know, we tired of hearing people talk about shit and they ain't looking to do it. Assistant coach or no assistant coach. You know, obviously you ain't going to sit there and bang with Tank. Too many dudes ain't going to survive. A slugfest with Tank. You know, but uh, Lomachenko was just going to, you know, try to work his way in and avoid the counters. You know. He gonna try to come down these different angles on Tank. He ain't gonna try to let Tank kind of really get a, a clean shot on him. But uh, what he do is come to you. And if Tank can punch in close quarters, I really don't see you know unless he really frustrate. He he got better defense coming in there. Unless he really frustrate Tank, it's a matter of time till he get hit with something that he don't like. You know, or he can't take to the body or something like that. So I mean, it's just, to me, it's going. It's gonna be very interesting. It's a very interesting fight, but ultimately, for me, what it come down to is how good Loma can hit and not get hit. Ultimately, that's the the the, the that's the million dollar question. Ultimately, that's the million dollar question. How long? How well can Loma hit and not get hit? And that's one of the things in boxing that that people don't talk about. A lot of people can make you miss, but can you make somebody pay on a consistent basis? It's a risk. When you make somebody miss, you know you gotta you know you gotta be in position to make them pay. But the the thing that make that don't make that so risky today is guys don't throw punches in bunches no more. When you got guys who routinely threw punches in bunches, you know what I'm saying. I think then you kind of like really worried. I think you feel you feel like you really worried about something coming back. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I think you feel like. You know what I'm saying? But when they throwing one or two shots, you know, guys ain't throwing combinations no more. I don't think you're too worried about that no more. You know, I know he's gonna throw one or two big shots. A lot of these dudes don't don't utilize their jab the way they should utilize their jab. You know what I mean? So, you know, I really ain't concerned about, you know, what's kind of coming. And a lot of these dudes can't finish neither. A lot of these dudes can't finish. So, you know, think about it for a minute. So, but, I mean, I, I definitely don't see Lomachenko sitting and banging. And why would he? You feel me? Why would he? So, I mean, that's a great question. That, you know, that's interesting, but I got to agree with Coach Kenny Ellis on that one. You know, I wouldn't sit there and bang with him. But uh but then again, that's up to them. That's up to them. 
But if they confident and he win this fight, okay, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know if y'all seen the last dance, uh, PJ Ar- BJ Armstrong, he from Detroit FYI, right? And, you know, they beat the Chicago Bulls. I think it was like the first or second round. They upset the Bulls. He used to be with the Bulls. He played for Hornets now. And he get to talking shit. And Michael Jordan sitting in the locker room and saying, oh, it's easy to talk shit when you up, you know, when you up. Let's see when it's 0-0, zero, zero, can you talk shit and basically cash in your ticket? And to me, that's kind of like Tank Davis. You know, that's kind of like Tank Davis. Like he he the him and his team got a big opinion. You know, they got a great opinion. An excellent opinion. But, you know, when other fighters are tied up or, or they got other uh, responsibilities to handle, but, you know, when they don't have other responsibilities to handle and people free, you don't hear them say nothing, bro. What Jay say on imaginary players, when I see you in the club, I don't see none of that. Damn, playboy, where the fuck is the Hummer at? <laughs> He said, you silly ass niggas selling records being you, but still you want to be me. You know, so, I mean, that's just something that you want, man. Appreciate y'all. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel. Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good. 313. Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link is in the description. Uh, appreciate y'all, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit my link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Uh, um, but yeah, man. Appreciate y'all. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Peace.